Vert Shock Program, 8 Weeks to Flight. When you start to dig into the actual meat of the Vert Shock Program you'll quickly notice that the program is divided into three different sections, Pre-Shock Phase, Shock Phase, and Post-Shock Phase. Each phase has a specific purpose. It is critical to work through each phase in order so that you don't overdo it too soon and cause overtraining injury. Phase 1, Pre-Shock The Pre-Shock Phase of Vert Shock lasts for one week. This phase of the program really allows you to get acquainted with some of the workouts you'll be doing over the 8-week period preparing you to jump right into the shock phase. This phase has the goal of getting your muscles prepared to do more intensive workouts later on. What's nice about the pre-shock phase is that many students who have gone through the program see vertical gains of up to 3 inches during the pre-shock phase alone. Phase 2, Shock This is the bulk of the vert shock program. The shock phase is six weeks long. This is where the vert shock program really gets going as you'll be doing a ton of plyometric and calisthenic exercises with some sprinting mixed in as well. Most weeks of the shock phase you will be working out four to five days a week. The other days are strictly set aside for rest and recovery. The purpose of all these movements and exercises is to activate and strengthen your fast twitch muscle fibers which are the muscle fibers you use during explosive movements like a vertical jump. For you to get the most out of the Vert Shock program you'll need to do every exercise with 100% effort and follow the specific resting guidelines. Every time you do a rep think explosive. If you half as your reps, you will not see maximum vertical gains. Vert Shock is a program that gives you the tools but you have to be the one to use those tools effectively to take your vertical jump to new levels. Phase 3, Post-Shock The final week of the Vert Shock program is made up of the post-shock phase. The post-shock phase is designed to fortify your gains, while allowing your muscles to begin the recovery process from the shock phase. Due to the fact that you have been working hard for 6 weeks in the shock phase, you may find you do not make additional gains during this section of vert shock. However, if you've done the program as Adam describes then I am confident you'll be happy with your results. Maintenance After you've completed all 8 weeks of the vert shock program you'll move into the maintenance phase. This program is to be done once per week and includes 3 different maintenance workouts to alternate. The purpose of the maintenance phase is to lock in your vertical gains so that you won't lose what you've built up from hard work and dedication. How much will I increase my vertical with Vert Shock? On the Vert Shock website, they claim you can add up to 9 15 inches to your vertical by going through the program. While certainly a 9 15 inch gain in your vertical is possible for some, I would caution those who are expecting it to happen by using Vert Shock. When it comes to your vertical jump there are several factors at play. Two of which are addressed in vert shock, diet and training. The third factor is genetics. An example of how genetics can play a role in performance is distance running. I could run 80 miles a week, and I would never become an elite marathoner. In fact, I'd likely just get injured. The same thing applies for vertical jumping. Some of us are just not able to jump as high as others. If you find yourself in this camp you may not see a vertical jumping gain in the 9-15 inch range. That being said, I am very confident that if you go through this program and do it properly you will see a significant gain in your vertical jump. At the same time don't be totally disheartened if you were hoping to dunk after doing the vert shock program and can only grab the rim. The truth is that this increase in vertical will help you on the court during games and that is even more important than dunking in my opinion. Now that I've had a chance to thoroughly evaluate the materials and exercises included in Vert Shock it is apparent that this program is the real deal. That's not to say that there are not weaknesses, in particular, the purchasing process simply sucks. Purchasing process aside, the actual program is comprehensive and can be done in the comfort of your home. This is a huge advantage over the jump manual, which requires you to go to a weight room to complete a lot of the exercises. I'm also a huge proponent of plyometrics and believe that they are one of the main keys to functional strength. Functional strength is strength that is built with the purpose of completing a specific athletic task, in this case improving your vertical jump. 
While I'm sure the add-ons have value, I don't think they are a necessity to see significant improvement in your jumping ability. For most, the core VertShock program will give you what you need. VertShock is not a scam. It also is not a miracle pill. If you want to see vertical jumping gains you have to be the one to do the exercises faithfully and put in the work. If you half-ass the program and don't see the gains you were hoping for then you have no one to blame but yourself. Click the link in description to download VertShock now.